We are here. Big day. Uh, let me log into this computer. One moment. Today is Thursday, July 2nd, 2020, and it is 7.09 a.m. And uh, just in case, you know, one, one scene, same, same date and time. Today, we are going to Gainesville. And we're going to Gainesville because something that I may or may not have ever shared on this channel was uh, in 2011, I got a uh, vasectomy so that I couldn't have any more kids. Trust me, a very smart decision. And uh, in 2020, I have a beautiful woman that I love more than anything. So uh, to be 100% honest, today we are heading to Gainesville paying $6,500 and I'm getting a vasectomy reversal uh, to try and give the woman I love a child and us a child. So, uh, and Kaylee, a brother or sister, she's gonna love that. So, um, we're about to leave. My appointment is set to be there at nine. And then, uh, I think my surgery's at 10, from like 10 to 12, 12 30. It's like two, two and a half hours. I'm gonna be under anesthesia and everything. But, uh, yeah, we're about to head out. Let's, uh, let's go. Are you recording? I am, because you look beautiful. I'm like a supermodel over here, even though it's dark. <laughs> She's doing another puzzle, and I'll probably be out of commission for a couple weeks. I'll find out more once I get there, because I don't fully know all the details, but you excited? You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get to Gainesville. Do this. Hour and nine minutes. 8.33, perfect. 21 miles, 36 minutes away. Three miles, seven minutes away. Perfectly on time. We are here. It is 8.54 in the morning. I got six minutes. I'm gonna wait here a couple minutes and then I'll go in. Okay. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I guess let's do this. I'm gonna film what I can from inside. I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but I'm gonna film whatever I can and talk about whatever I can, but we're here. I'm getting a vasectomy reversal today. All right, let's get inside. Paperwork, paid in full. Signing my life away. I'm in the bathroom. I'm gonna be quiet I'm right outside the door. Got my gown and uh, about to change. All right, gown is on. I am about to get this done. Uh, I'm gonna say I love you, Amanda. And I don't know if I'll get to record anything after this, so the next clip may be me half out of it in the car, but uh, we'll see. All right, I'm all hooked up. Apparently the way they pull it down, I may have some pain in my stomach, but I'm not too worried about it. I think I'll be back there shortly and doing this. Okay, so I just dropped Chris off at the doctor's appointment's not until 10. It's only just after 9. I guess he had to be there an hour early for paperwork and prepping maybe. Um, but due to COVID, I'm not allowed to go into the building, so I... Um, anxiously waiting, not knowing anything. He did say that they would call me, I guess, about halfway through, so maybe about 11. And then, uh, just before he's done. So, I just have to wait. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> Get some coffee, because I fasted with him and I'm dying. I'll keep you posted. So, it's a little after 10. I've been waiting about an hour. And Chris just called, just because he had a moment. Um, he was already back there, hooked to the IV. Anyway, he said that, I guess they're supposed to come out and talk to me about 
um, his pain medicine and maybe what needs to be done when he gets to the house. I don't know. But I haven't seen anyone yet and they haven't called. So I'm just waiting. And now it's starting to hit me what he's doing. It's a big thing to do for anybody. I know he wants more kids, but you know, at the end of the day, it's more because that's what I want. It's big. So, it's exciting and scary and, and happy and anxious and freaked out and a million things. I've always thought I was unlovable and then here this dream man comes along and wants to do this huge thing for me. <laughs> I can't believe it. I love that man. I got a call from the nurse, uh, Miss Becky, who said that uh, they're done with the first side, which is wonderful. She said it went smooth and now they're starting the second side and it shouldn't be long now. So I just pulled into Kroger and I'm going to try Kroger, but hopefully it doesn't take too long because I don't think he'll take too much longer. Although she said after they're done with the second side, I guess he goes to recovery, which uh, could take a little time. It just depends on when his body is ready to get up and be ready to leave um so one side's done that's a good thing i hate that i couldn't go in there damn co ridiculous you should be able to be with your person when they go through any kind of procedure especially if you normally can be well i guess i probably wouldn't be in the room but you know what i mean i'm at um the doctor's office again uh nurse becky called me to tell me that he's in recovery and that side number two went well um so um now i'm waiting for the doctor to call me he just wants to talk to me and then uh when he's up and ready they'll bring him out so it's almost over it's 12 43 so it shouldn't be much longer but Everything's good and it went well and I'll let you know what the doctor says. So it's 103 and Chris just texted me that he's awake and that he loves me. It's just so exciting. I still haven't talked to the doctor, um, but he said that he's getting dressed so I'm sure he'll be out soon. <laughs> It was a success. Um, Everyone, good. A little bit of pain. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. Then I would get the medicine. Oh, if I do have two ready for you, but they're not going to be done until 2 o'clock today. Um, is there, since he's already out of his procedure, is there any way to, to uh, put it at our Kroger closer to home? Or do we need to wait? You want to add a different cover? Um, well, I thought his procedure would take a little longer, but we don't live around here. Okay, gotcha. I'll go to the Crash, apparently. This express lane desperately needs a wall. That way we would not be stopped right now because of people. Alright, so it's uh, 2.33, I'm about an hour and a half after the surgery. Pain on the right side of me, no pain on the left side. But they gave me Percocet 10, so I shouldn't be in too much pain. Uh, we're going to stop and get Olive Garden if we get out of this traffic at some point. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. 3.03 uh, p.m.
I have made it home. Uh, stopped and got my Olive Garden. And uh, so we are about to eat and relax. I'm supposed to keep my feet elevated like for the next uh, 24 or 48 hours, babe. For what? Keeping my feet elevated, or is that longer? Uh, Gotcha. So for the next few days, I'm not gonna move very much. I may go insane, but I'll be okay because I'm gonna give that beautiful woman a baby. <laughs> We're gonna eat though. See you later. Hello, beautiful. Hi. So uh, it is day one still, 6.28 p.m. Pain level, very low, but I've taken my Percocet like an hour ago what these hiccups are from and uh outside of that i have like an ice pack right now i'm trying anything i can to uh to not be in pain my biggest issue i don't really like laying down um and that's probably my biggest complaint but i'm gonna keep updating this over the next probably week really and put this all together into one big video well it shouldn't be too big but into one video so uh we're on a resident evil marathon right now and uh yeah we're gonna watch our movies relax the night away i will catch up with you on day two and we'll see how i'm feeling right now one out of ten pain so that's great and hopefully it stays that way anything to say my queen no you look happy mm -hmm. i like that <laughs> <laughs> all right we will see you tomorrow for day two We're on day two, um, day two of the vasectomy reversal surgery. I had to remove my gauze this morning. Um, I took a pain pill beforehand, so I didn't even fill it. My pain level, because I'm not moving, is like a two fairly consistently. Occasionally it will shoot to like a seven or eight for a moment, but it has not been nearly as bad as I thought. Now, could that change? Definitely. I've had some bleeding. That's been a little scary, but... Other than that, it has not been nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be much worse. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, just sitting here in agonizing pain all day, like, living off of the pain pills. But, no, I haven't been. So, this is the update for day two. We are uh, about to watch the final chapter of Resident Evil because as we've sat here with nothing to do and not being able to go anywhere due to this, we've watched all five of the first movies. So, we're about to watch the last one. And she likes them. I do. She's never played the video game. But, you know, <laughs> she likes the storyline they did here in the movie. So that's good. Watch our movie. I will check in with you guys on day three. I think I'm going to do a seven day checkup on this video. I'll do it a full week. Okay. And then maybe a second week. Because I don't know when this will be posted. So see you tomorrow. All right, we are on day three of my vasectomy reversal. Queen is upstairs taking a shower because she's about to run to Walmart to get some stuff for us. Because I did an online order. She's also going to Fossil to swap my watch. Um, there'll be a video on that that'll be posted months before this. But this is the reason why that I was not going to Fossil um, to see how like a warranty works with Fossil, but I'm still gonna make a video out of it. So um, yeah, day three, I am uh, finally able to take a shower today. That's gonna be great. I uh, am in a bit of pain on the right side still. I don't know why. Left side, no pain. The bleeding has seemed to stop now. I'm not seeing any bleeding. So uh, things are looking good. Hopefully in a couple days, all pain will be gone. Haven't seen any swelling as of yet. So I'm gonna keep up these little daily 90 second or so little updates for a week and uh, then do a two week, three week and a month. And then my honest plan with this video is I'm not posting this until she's actually pregnant. So this video could be a year away at this point, six months away, I don't know. But it's gonna be ready, it's gonna be bounced down, I'm gonna have a thumbnail, it's gonna be set and ready to go, but um, it won't be posted until we know. So. Um, I will see you for Sunday tomorrow, July 5th. And um, today is July 4th though. Happy Independence Day to everybody. See you tomorrow. Um, it is Sunday, July 5th. Currently, not a lot has changed. Pain has kind of subsided. Subsided? That's the right word, I think. Not really feeling uh, much pain unless that I'm moving around or something like that, uh, but I do 
do have some pain from time to time. Uh, but other than that, I'm just trying to stay off my feet as much as possible, uh, take my medication and use my ice packs. My girlfriend had to go to her grandmother's for some stuff, so she will be back in a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna be laying here on the couch, watching TV and um, relaxing away. So I uh, will see you tomorrow. This is day number six. It is Wednesday, July 8th, and um, everything is really a lot better. Bruising went away. Uh, pain is still there sometimes when getting up or down, uh, but other than that, mine has not had really any complications. I've taken my medication religiously every 12 hours, and you also have some like ointment stuff that you have to put on uh, like three times a day, and I've been doing that literally like every eight hours. So, um, so far things have been good. Sorry, I skipped the last two days. wasn't really a lot going on. I just basically um, tried to stay off my feet. They told me to. They told me a week to return to work, but I think that's for somebody with like a more manual labor job, working IT. So a lot of times I'm sitting behind a computer desk. So either way, though, I'm feeling much better. Tomorrow I'm returning to work, so that will uh, literally as I'm returning to work, that'll be my one week anniversary, day seven. So. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do it for this update video. I will uh, make one tomorrow for day 7 and probably day 8. And then I'll skip to uh, like day 14 and 21. See you next time. Today is day 7 of uh, my, my, the, the, my vasectomy reversal. I can say that it honestly feels like... I mean, the pain seemed to drop today drastically. I don't know why, but yesterday I would say my pain level was probably like a four or five, uh, maybe like, maybe closer to a six. And today it feels like it's like a three or four. I still have a, a lot of pain getting up and down, but that's pretty normal. I think that'll go away. But so far, things have been very good. Uh, I'm continuing to take my antibiotic and, um, you know, just getting through this and then in a couple weeks everything will be normal and we will see what happens. So uh, it's been a week. I'm probably going to do maybe like a 10 day or 12 day or something um, and then a two week, three week and maybe a month and then I'm going to put this whole video together. So uh, I'll see you in a couple days. So today I had to make another update video. I'm at my office for once as you can see. I haven't been here a lot since COVID. Um, but today is day, uh, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Today is day 12 of my vasectomy reversal. And I can say that for the first time in 12 days, I was able to stand up out of a chair or get out of my bed without any pain in my lower stomach. They had told me once I was there how that they how the procedure works and that I would have pain in my lower stomach. And I've had that for the past 12 days. Every single time I went to get up, anytime that I got out of bed, anything. And that is finally gone on day 12. So uh, that makes me pretty happy. I'll check in with you uh, at week two and week three. See you next time. Yes. All right, today is the two week mark. Uh, this is my last antibiotic, this is my last antibiotic that I have to take which I'm very happy for because I hate taking pills. Basically everything is still great. Uh, no real pain. Occasionally, if I like go too fast or go down a stair too fast, I'll have a, a second of pain that's like a one or a two on a scale of 10. Uh, but other than that, everything has been great. And um, so at this point, it's, uh, it's actually 10.04. So literally I had just went under two weeks ago uh, to get this done. Uh, because I remember it was 9.59 when they were about to start the anesthesia. So uh, this is like two weeks on the dot. Uh, I'm about to take this last antibiotic though. So happy I won't have to take these anymore. I guess I'll check in with you next Thursday for week three. Uh, but so far, everything is good. See you next week. Now it's, I can't with my hair. It's just a mess. <laughs> Your hair isn't a mess? So day is, uh, sep not September. July 23rd, Thursday. It's been exactly three weeks since my vasectomy reversal. Uh, we're watching a NASCAR race day that, or on a Thursday that I can't even think of what track they're at right now. But uh, I had to do my three week update video, but uh, at this point, all pain is gone. No, uh, I mean, literally like nothing, just still healing. And apparently the stitches are still kind of coming out and dissolving, which that part I'm not fond of. But other than that, Things are great. 
uh, I'm able to return to uh, sexual activities, which that may have happened last week. But either way, uh, yeah, it's good. No complaints. The reversal seems to be uh, fine. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to see what the next months bring us. So uh, until next Thursday for the uh, one month, we'll see you then. Not a better way to end a one month video than at the beach. So today, looking all cute. Mm. Today has been, well technically yesterday was, but either way, today has been one month since my vasectomy reversal. Uh, and so far everything has been fine. Occasional weird shooting pains, but nothing severe. The incisions seem to be healing well. Uh, some of the stitching is still coming out, but none of it hurts. That's really about it. I'm able to be completely normal activity again and uh, just live my life and uh, this beautiful woman a baby. <laughs>So what you just watched was in July of 2020, and today I'm getting it checked to, uh, to see exactly what the results were after having that done. So, uh, wish me luck. Hey, you can come and look at you. Okay. So, uh, I don't have good news for you, but I'm seeing stuff too much in there. I mean, there are scattered dead sperm. Okay. They're showing up. It's a little... Oh, there you go. That one's All right, good. cool. You got a lot of spray. Oh, wow. That's good. So something's happening, but uh, anything's decent like the bed. So some are getting through, obviously. All right. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of them. Yeah, okay. There's something going on there. That's good. Well, you know what? I, I think you need, and I, you know, I can't tell from just looking at this. I think you need a... Uh, Need a formal semen analysis. Gotcha. And like a hospital, okay? okay. Or a reproductive lab. So it may not be <coughs> that easy. Either way, it looks like you got something to Yeah. So uh, we just need to get a formal analysis on you. Um, All right. Let's see this thing go. There you go, my queen wife. Thank you, my queen wife. All right, we'll see what happens in a few minutes. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. <laughs> Three minutes is up. Sadly, only one line. So that test that you just saw was just taken this morning due to her having some, you know, feelings. But unfortunately, still a negative. As you may have saw at the end, the procedure 100% did work. We didn't waste $6,500. You know, the doctor and I myself could physically see the live sperm moving. So the vasectomy reversal actually worked. Mm -hmm. He had even mentioned uh, that I needed to go get a sperm analysis, I believe it was called, which would tell them like how many per millions sperm there is per milliliter or whatever. We've never went and got that done. We also have never went and gotten her checked. So there's no telling us why it may not have happened. We're actually looking into possibly some other uh, alternatives, sperm banks and stuff. We've seen we're like three to $400. So we've thought about giving that a try. In vitros, of course, very, very expensive, 10 to like $15,000. But at this time, she's in a much better place than she was three years ago when we made this video so it's it's definitely came down on her priority list a little bit due to uh how just happy she is i think exactly <laughs> it used to like consume me to get pregnant and to be a mom and i get a little emotional if i'm not but at the end of the day it's not nearly as i don't know the word but high on your importance list yeah. I mean, it's up there, but it's not everything like it used to feel. Yeah. It used to be number one for certain, like 100%. Yeah. Now, in terms of the pain, the pain was truly not that bad. Had a few times where it got a little worse than it than, uh, than it might have seemed, but it was just very rare. I mean, just... You had some rough moments, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so certain things could trigger things and make it hurt, but for the most part, really not that bad. Looking back, they gave me Percocet 10, so that's probably why I don't remember a lot <laughs> of the pain, but hey, 
that's that's how it is this is a little bit of our uh, vasectomy reversal story we're not going to give up we're going to keep trying if it happens it happens whether it's from me whether it's from a sperm bank or whether it just never happens and if she's okay with that then that's just what it is but we're definitely trying it and giving it 100 percent i will all. keep you posted of I course mean, some people of might course. want to follow the journey now now yeah. that they know yeah. Our, our original plan, you may have heard in the video, was we were going to make this video, post it, and then the following day was going to be like a reveal of her being pregnant. But yeah. we've kind of combined it into one to, to not leave any surprises out there or leave anybody hanging. Sadly, tomorrow not the case. Tomorrow is not the video. Yeah, tomorrow <laughs> is not the video. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be a normal tech video tomorrow. So, uh, of course, if you have any questions or comments about the reversal, if you're a guy who may be getting one for your wife, leave them down below. I try to always stay on top of those and we'll definitely uh, reply and answer with any knowledge I may have from it. And outside of that, uh, I think that's it. I think so. I think we're going to have a, a lot of comments from guys on this video going, hey, I can help you out. You think so? <laughs> I don't think so. 100% it's going to happen. <laughs> one. one of the first comments will be that. That'll do it for this one though. Thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Bye!